Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to create the new program for uh, control the motor for bird and reverse. Yes, by using uh, two contactors. Yes, two magnetic contactor. K1 for uh, start forward and K number 2 for start reverse. And here is the PLC Omron model Zen. Yes. Before create the new program for test uh, simulation, I would like to explain a little bit for uh, control diagram and power diagram to control the motor okay so here is the control circuit breaker that I already connected the face uh, A and uh, natural to here and then I already connected the cable power to supply the PLC and uh, I already uh, also connected the cable from push button start forward, start reverse, and stop to the input of PLC Omron. Okay. And I will use one more input for uh, overload signal. Yes. If motor overload, it will show uh, here overload also. And then it will trip the motor when. Uh, overload relay is turned on okay and here is the output from the POC that uh, I already connected Q0 for uh, contactor number 1 for uh, start motor reverse sorry forward and uh, Q1 I already connected to magnetic contactor K2 for uh, start motor reverse okay so uh, if I push a start forward, it will show here running forward. If I push stop, it will not show. If I push start reverse, it will show here start running reverse. And if motor overload, it will show here motor overload also. Okay. So uh, let's go to create the program for uh, simulation this signal. Okay, so let's go. So I will use uh, Zen tool. Yes. So right click, run as administrator to Zen tool, and then create the new project. Yes. Okay, I will zoom a little bit, yeah. Press Alt and then zoom, yeah. Press Alt and arrow key. Arrow key right to zoom in. Uh, arrow key left for zoom out, okay. So, uh, first, I will create the start command, yeah, by using I0. Yes. So start command. I will use I zero. Yes. Start. Forward. F W. It means that uh, start forward. So when start forward. Yes. When start forward. It will let Q0 is turn on, right? So Q0. Okay, Q0 is turn on. Run forward. Yes. Then I will hold the signal. Yes. So Q0. And if I push stop, 
right? If I push stop, let's see here. The stop button I already connected to I2, right? So when I push I2, yes. So I number two stop. Stop command. And I will use NC contact for stop. Yes. When I push I0, Q0 will turn on and then hold the signal by uh, this contact. And if the Q0 is uh, turned on, then I will show on display here the motor will uh, show start or running uh, forward yeah. so I will use D for display for show here for uh, motor run uh, forward okay so I will use D0 for uh, run forward yes run forward right here is run forward and if I push stop yes if I push stop it will not show right okay so uh, I push when I push stop I will clear the Take right, so maybe here. So I two when stop command is turned on, then I will clear D zero. Yeah. Clear D zero. Yes, yeah, choose here for clear operation. Yes, okay. So let uh, simulation a little bit for test. Let's see if I pre start. Yes, you see here run forward. If I push stop, it will clear the text, right? Okay, that good. So when I push I1 for uh, start reverse, right? So I1. Let me change this one a little bit, yes, for uh, here, yes. And this one also clear, yes. So when I push I1. It will hold the signal also, right? So Q So Q1 Yes Run reverse And hold the signal. Yes. And if I push stop, it will stop also, right? And let D1 is turned on for show. Run reverse. Yes. And we need to use the safety contact for uh, interlocking. Yes. If Q0 is turned on, not allow uh, Q1 is turned on. And if Q1 is turned on, we uh, don't allow Q0 is turned on. So let 
choose the safety contact yes for interlocking yes like this and then if I push stop it will clear the text also right so clear the text use uh, D1 yeah clear the text to here for clear the text okay good so let's simulation again so if I push forward it will run forward and if I push stop it will clear run reverse yes push stop it will clear yes that's good so uh, one more for uh, motor overload right for motor overload we use i3 yes so when i3 is turned on yes i number three is turn on yes motor overload yes it will show overload also right so I will use uh, set auxiliary contact for set motor overload com So reset yes and if motor overload it will stop the motor also right stop the control circuit so uh, when here M0 I will let uh, display the text also right so I will use D2 and so as motor overload or uh, overload yes it will show overload and I will use the one button for clear for reset right so I will use B yes escape button for reset the overload overload yeah reset overload then I will clear yes I will reset the M0 right and I also clear the text of B2 right for clear the overload yes and we'll use here okay like this okay so when motor overload it will trip the control circuit also right So I will use uh, one more for uh, internal memory for uh, reset, yes, or stop the motor. So when I number two is turned on, yes, let me insert one more run. For uh, auxiliary contact M1 yes and I will use the M1 yes here M0 yeah when M0 is turned on it also uh, stop the motor right so here I will instead by M0 uh, sorry M1 and see 
this one also yes so when motor overload it will uh, stop the circuit also right control circuit yes okay let's simulation again to see the condition so right now when I push forward it will show forward yeah running forward when I push stop it will stop when I push uh, reverse it show uh, reverse and if motor overload I will use uh, yes contact like this when motor overload it will trip the circuit right no uh, should turn on and it will show overload so when I press reset yes reset the overload it will not show okay one more time if I push run forward yes when I stop when I push reverse it will show reverse when I push stop yes when I start forward and motor overload it will trip yes and I can reset okay so uh, here is just uh, example for create the sample program for start motor uh, forward and reverse of a three-phase motor okay and so uh, the stator on the Zen display also so thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question please drop comment also on my video I will reply soon and I would like to request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new video that I will create step by step. So I hope my video is very useful for everyone. Yes, and if I have mistake. I would like to say uh, I'm sorry yes because my English is not so good and in this time I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye